Hi everybody, it's Tracy and I'm back today with another project that I finished yesterday and it is a mini album and this mini album is a paperback album and uh, I didn't put any pictures in this album I usually put pictures in my albums as I go along but with this one I just felt like using this paper collection and making this album and I didn't really have any pictures I wanted to put in so I just made the album but I have pictures that I'm going to print out and put in so that it will be used okay so on the front here I have fibers and lace and on a swivel clasp I have a teapot charm and a spoon charm and for the front, the way I did this is I put some bling here and I cut this piece out of the, the paper and I don't know if you can see it but I did put a little um, some pearl glimmer mist on that to make it sparkle a bit. Cut this domestic goddess piece from the paper and I distressed it. Added a little prima rose to her hair. Here, these are the Prima Eline white flowers that I glimmer misted with Tuscan Sun glimmer mist. And then I put the little uh, button there. Down here, I have some lace and some trim over that. And that's the front. Now, let's see. The first pocket has a tag. As you'll see in this album, I didn't do a whole lot to the paper because it's so pretty that I just wanted to show the paper. And of course on the tags I'll either put pictures or journaling, I'm not sure, whatever I'm feeling at the time. Okay, and then here I put some trim, uh, lace trim on this pocket. This is one of the tags, put a brad up there. Here is a, oh, clip, I forgot what it's called. <laughs> a clip and these are frames and as you can see I have all of these frames open because I have to add pictures to them and that's the other side and here's another if I can get it out tag And I used a lot of craft paper with this uh, collection, this mini too. And then I have here, I just used my Martha Stewart lace for the trim, lace uh, punch for the trim. <clears throat> here is a frame that I cut out with a Sizzix die. And I just added a little ribbon and a little teapot charm. And on this side, this is a label, and I added some brads, Oops. and in this pocket is tags, <clears throat> which are actually the insides of these frames, <clears throat> thought I would recycle, and I can journal on that that little pocket and you turn over and it's another little pocket just like it with the tags and here and you see how this paper is just so pretty I love it so I didn't need to do anything the paper speaks for itself <laughs> You open this up, and I have some space for pictures already. And close this. Always on film, these things don't work <laughs> very well. And here's the tag there on the page we have another pocket 
another check. More lace, Primo lace. Another tag with the bread. And then this is the last page frame that I cut out with the Sizzix die. Put some Prima bling up there and down there. And another tag. And that's the end. That is my very quick and very easy and so much fun Domestic Goddess Mini. Paper bag mini. <laughs> and that's that. And since I have some time, I'll let you see this paper clip that I made with the Domestic Goddess uh, collection too. Let me see if I can get it in here. And um, basically I just kind of collaged it. I cut out little pieces. I used scraps and I just covered the whole clip. The whole thing inside and outside and then I decoupaged it well I should say I use the Mod Podge to decoupage it all on there so and this is one of those little pieces I had left over from the a mini and I just um, pop dot use pop tots to pop it up and then put the uh, one of the little tags and pop that up too and then down here and put my name Tracy domestic goddess because I am the domestic goddess of this house <laughs> so anyway it's a working paper clip that I will be using and I my original intention is to put it in the kitchen so I guess that's where it will go eventually and that's that so thank you all for watching Bye.